Dr. Tell, talk to me about uh, recreational activities. You, you couldn't have done science 24 hours a day. No, well, in, in, I didn't. In, in my youth, I, I played tennis in the summer and I curled in the winter. And uh, when, when our family started growing up, I started playing tennis with my daughters again. I, we have two daughters. And then they had family and they were so thoroughly occupied that we couldn't play tennis anymore. But I continued with the curling. And uh, if, if I missed a year, it was at the, in the time I was at Yale, and particularly with the time I went down to southern Mexico. Uh, not much ice there. And the, uh, the, I've always enjoyed curling because it's to me sort of like chess on ice. It's, uh, the strategy is, is very interesting. And uh, of course, there's some issues from a scientific point of view are the major one for a long time was, does sweeping make any difference? And uh, so a group of us, including Harold Johns, uh, thought, we, well, we can measure this. And there was an a, a effort, uh, I think it's supported by the CBC to, uh, at Maple Leaf Gardens, old Maple Leaf Gardens, to test this. And they de designed a pendulum-like device to th throw the rock. And the intent was to use it to throw the rock reproducibly. And it didn't work. The, it wasn't reproducible enough. And then we thought, that's the wrong way around. And it was actually a research researcher at the OCI, Mike Routh, who I, I remember suggesting a design that I really liked. And it was to throw have someone, it was me, turned out to be me, throw a lot of curling rocks. And uh, we would measure the initial velocity of the rock as it crossed the first hog line using a pair of photocells, uh, time taken to go the distance between the two photocells, and one could measure that time, uh, and, and as particularly very precisely, and distance reasonably pre precisely. And then every other rock would be swept and we would measure how far it went. And by f simplifying it a little bit by fundamental physics, uh, the, uh, the initial energy that you put on the rock, initial kinetic energy, uh, half mv squared, is equal to the work done by the rock in coming to rest, which is the distance times the uh, coefficient of friction. Uh, and so if you plot the square of the velocity, the initial velocity, against the distance gone, you should get a reasonably straight line. Uh, and so they, they, the only problem was who, who to use for sweepers. And it just happened that the manager of the curling club, the Parkway Club in Don Mills, which is now gone, uh, uh, was Al Phillips, Jr., who in the, the, the spring before we did the experiment had been the Canadian champion. Uh, curling champ, men's curling champion, and he volunteered his two major sweepers uh, to participate in this experiment. And they were sweeping away with the old corn brooms, wham, 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 wham. So they were good sweepers. And uh, the result was that the uh, sweeping made about at least 3% difference in the distance gone by the curling stone. Well, they, it's more than 100 feet. Uh, so 3% is 3 feet. So it's at least 3 feet difference from these strong curlers. And it could be as much as, I mean, they calculated the confidence limits and that was the lower limit. Upper limit would have been more than 6 feet. Uh, and that, there, it, there it stood until sometime in the night, I uh, can't remember exactly when, but it were around 2000, sometime like that. Uh, Peter Ottensmeyer, who is a, a biophysicist at, now retired at the Princess Mar at the o OCI, uh, a very a talented uh, experimentalist, uh, I persuaded him to, <laughs> that we should repeat the experiment using the the more modern push brooms. 
and see if it made any difference. So we did the same experiment, same design again, with push brooms, but this time the stu just graduate the student volunteers were doing the sweeping, so they were not skilled or experienced sweepers. And the re uh, my memory is that the results were almost exactly the same as the previous ones. So it, the conclusion was that amateurs using these push brooms could get just a, 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 as much of effectiveness on the distance gone as the corn brooms being handled by f absolutely champion level sweepers. I wanted to do the experiment again and, and find some championship level uh, push broom sweepers to participate, but didn't get to do it. Well, I suppose we should keep our eye on the Internet Journal of Curling Research to, <laughs> <laughs> to, to see the future papers. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.